Here is a very simple technique to give you the edge in voiceover auditions, and it's something that I use when I'm doing my jobs as well as auditions. You see, if you've got a good client who knows exactly what they want, they're likely to describe to you on the audition job the type of voice they want, the style they want, they may even give you a reference, that sort of thing. That means all the auditions they're going to get to review are going to be very similar to each other. So how can we give you the edge? How can we give you a little bit special so you stand out? Well, it's understanding the script, as you should do anyway, but sometimes you just really can't get the feel of what they want. It's maybe a corporate script or something that you, you can't really feel for. So the way to do it is to be physical and almost to create your own sign language. You see, if you do it with your arms folded, uh, then you're going to sound like you've got your arms folded, right? <laughs> you don't have to have your arms folded, but you know what I mean. So you come across as a just reading it, basically, you know. Whereas if you pretend you're live on stage and you're giving a talk to people, you would express with your arms. And expressing with your arms makes an enormous difference to reading any script and can give you the edge in auditions and just makes the, the whole of voiceover work easier and more enjoyable because you sort of get into it. Now, here's a script I got here. So if I was just doing it with my arms folded, it would sound boring. But with you using your arms... In a world filled with noise and clutter, we have calmly continued along the road to bring success. To the north and south, the east and west, we have provided our service to satisfied customers who have voted us, once again, the number one insurance provider. All right, I'm making a fool of myself, but there again, no one's going to see me because this is a voiceover but it comes across much better. Now, if I played that back and listened to myself, I'd know I was doing all this because it puts the emphasis on the right words. It, it sort of makes the timing better as well. It somehow makes it all better. So don't be afraid of using your arms in the voice booth. Just make sure you haven't got a, a rustly shirt on or anything like that that'll make the noise and obviously don't hit the microphone. For more voiceover tips, go to voiceovermasterclass.com and thanks very much for watching.